In computing, a zombie is a computer connected to the Internet that has been compromised by a hacker, computer virus or Trojan horse program and can be used to perform malicious tasks of one sort or another under remote direction. Botnets of zombie computers are often used to spread email spam and launch denial of service attacks, DOS attacks. Most owners of zombie computers are unaware that their system is being used in this way. Because the owner tends to be unaware, these computers are metaphorically compared to fictional zombies. A coordinated DDoS attack by multiple botnet machines also resembles a zombie horde attack, as depicted in fictional zombie films. Topic: Advertising. Zombie computers have been used extensively to send email spam. As of 2005, an estimated 50 to 80 percent of all spam worldwide was sent by zombie computers. This allows spammers to avoid detection and presumably reduces their bandwidth costs, since the owners of zombies pay for their own bandwidth. This spam also greatly furthers the spread of Trojan horses, as Trojans are not self-replicating. They rely on the movement of emails or spam to grow, whereas worms can spread by other means. For similar reasons zombies are also used to commit click fraud against sites displaying pay-per-click advertising. Others can host phishing or money mule recruiting websites. Topic: <laughs> Distributed denial of service attacks. Zombies can be used to conduct distributed denial of service (DDoS) attacks, a term which refers to the orchestrated flooding of target websites by large numbers of computers at once. The large number of internet users making simultaneous requests of a website's server is intended to result in crashing and the prevention of legitimate users from accessing the site. A variant of this type of flooding is known as distributed degradation of service. Committed by pulsing zombies, distributed degradation of service is the moderated and periodical flooding of websites, done with the intent of slowing down rather than crashing a victim site. The effectiveness of this tactic springs from the fact that intense flooding can be quickly detected and remedied, but pulsing zombie attacks and the resulting slowdown in website access can go unnoticed for months and even years. Notable incidents of distributed denial and degradation of service attacks in past include the attack upon the SPU service in 2003, and the one against Bluefrog service in 2006. In 2000, several prominent websites Yahoo, eBay, etc. were clogged to a standstill by a distributed denial of service attack mounted by Mafia Boy, a Canadian teenager. An attack on GRC.com is discussed at length, and the perpetrator, a 13-year-old probably from Sardis, Mississippi, was identified on the Gibson Research website. Steve Gibson disassembled a bot which was a zombie used in the attack, and traced it to its distributor. In his account about his research, he describes the operation of a bot controlling IRC channel. Smartphones. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning in July 2009, similar botnet capabilities have also emerged for the growing smartphone market. Examples include the July 2009 in the Wild release of the Sexy Space Text Message Worm, the world's first botnet capable SMS worm, which targeted the Symbian operating system in Nokia smartphones. Later that month, researcher Charlie Miller revealed a proof of concept text message worm for the iPhone at Black Hat Briefings. Also in July, United Arab Emirates consumers were targeted by the Etisalat BlackBerry spyware program. In the 2010s, the security community is divided as to the real-world potential of mobile botnets. But in an August 2009 interview with The New York Times, cybersecurity consultant Michael Gregg summarized the issue this way, we are about at the point with smart phones that we were with desktops in the 80s. See also BASHLITE Botnet Denial of service attack Low orbit ion cannon Malware RDP shop Trojan horse computing. <laughs>